What is up, everybody? Happy I Hate Washington Day. Uh, the happiest day of the year. A time when we can all get together and tell people wearing purple that they're stupid and their opinions don't matter. What's up, everybody? It's Taco. Uh, kickoff in one hour uh, from Husky Stadium, Oregon, Washington. Uh, the Ducks going for 10 straight wins against the rival Huskies. It's the longest streak in the history of the rivalry. And that nice round number and the win the decade, that would all be great stuff. But Oregon has their biggest test uh, facing the best Washington team since this rivalry, or not since the rivalry began, since the streak began uh, back in 2004. This is by far the best Washington team Oregon has seen in a long, long time. Um, both offenses very good. They're going to run up tempo. They got a lot of weapons. Both defenses very good. Uh, they're going to shift a lot of guys in, try and throw some exotic blitzes, a lot of exotic packages uh, in there to try and slow down those dynamic offenses. Uh, Washington, to me, just seems like a team similar to where Oregon was maybe three or four years ago. Um, they've got the right pieces in place. They've got the right coaches in place. Uh, they're starting to get the right players. They're starting to build back from sort of the, the doldrums of 2008 losing all 12 of the games on their schedule. Uh, they did go 0-12. It was really funny the whole time. But, you know, they're, they're working back to a place of relevance and a place where they can contend for conference titles, and I think they're going to be there in a couple of years. Um, they certainly have the talent to pull the upset today. I think just in all facets of the game, Oregon is just a little bit more talented, a little bit deeper, a little bit more uh, well-seasoned and well-executed, and if nobody overachieves or underachieves, the Ducks should walk out of Husky Stadium with the win. That being said, it's going to be a hostile crowd in Seattle. Um, Husky fans know that this has been their best shot to beat the Ducks for a long time, and they are rabid and ready to go um, and ready to support their team, and it's really important that Oregon gets off to a good start and quiets down the crowd uh, because if Oregon stalls on their first couple of drives, that momentum and that crowd noise is only going to grow. The X factor in this game for me is going to be on special teams. We've talked about the offenses. We've talked about the defenses. I think Oregon's offense uh, has a little bit of a talent edge over Washington's defense. I think Washington's offense can put up some points on Oregon's defense, which has been a little bit bend but not breaky and a little bit shaky, shaky, shaky so far this season. But I think overall, you know, Oregon is a little bit of the better team. The X factor really is on special teams, uh, especially in the return game for Oregon. Washington's kick coverages have not been particularly good. We saw that last week against Stanford. Ty Montgomery, two long kick returns, one of them for a touchdown, one of them set up another touchdown. Really, that was the difference in the game. If Washington stops both of those kicks, you know, back at the 20, the 25-yard line, and made Stanford try and drive the whole field. I don't know if they do that, and Washington might be undefeated at this point in the game. And they're going to try and cover some of the fastest kick returners in the country, even if DeAnthony Thomas isn't out there, which sources say he's going to play. But we'll see how much of a role he has. He's, I would bet, I would bet more than anything that he is limited by his ankle. He's not 100%. He's still feeling a little, you know, mentally hesitant about cutting on that ankle and re-aggravating it. Um, so I don't think we're going to see full blinding speed DeAnthony Thomas today, and it's going to be up to other guys to step up. That being said, Keenan Lowe is a dynamic kick returner. We've seen him break some long ones. Troy Hill certainly has the talent um, and the speed. He's beaten out guys like Josh Huff, like Ifo Ekpreolomu, for that kick returner spot. And so he's clearly got the skills to break a big one, and especially against a vulnerable Washington kick return team. And Braylon Addison, we know what he can do on punt returns. So Washington's got to cover their kicks. If they haven't shored up that part of their game since last week, uh, Oregon is going to control field position, and when they're controlling field position, in addition to the things they do on offense, nobody's going to beat them. Uh, let's go to 
the comment thread over on ATQ uh, and see what we got going on in terms of questions. Uh, scale of 1 to 10, how real is the panic? I'd say the panic is a solid 6 or 7 at least. Uh, this is a good Washington team. Keith Price is playing very, very well. Uh, he's kind of back to his sophomore year form where he was really dynamic on uh, in the past game. He's got options to throw to. Cason Williams, Kevin Smith, Austin Severian Jenkins. And Bishop Sankey is a beast. He's an absolute monster of a running back. And Oregon has a tall task ahead of him to slow them down. The panic is is very real and palpable. This game could get shootouty. It's really, really hard to beat Oregon in a shootout, but a shootout plus a couple of key stops from Washington's defense, this game could be close late. Uh, Huskies, hate them, hate them, or hate them. The correct answer is hate them, in all caps. Hate M. Uh, who covers Case and Williams, T. Mitch, or Efo, and how many picks do we get? Uh, I think so far this season, uh, the corners have shown that it's not really about matchups, and it's about if this guy's on my side of the field, I'm going to cover him. So uh, we will see both Terrence Mitchell and Ifo Ekpreolomu on Case and Williams, and rightly so. You know, Case and Williams is not their only threat in the pass game. Like I said earlier, Kevin Smith, a very good number two wide receiver. Austin Severian Jenkins, possibly the most athletic tight end in the country now that Colt Lyerla is um, unemployed. Uh, so Keith Price has some options in the Oregon secondary. I think they're going to play sort of a group game to try and slow them down. Uh, over under seven Gus Gasms during the game. Is Gus Johnson even calling this game? I hadn't looked that up. If he is, I'm going to say, I'm going to take the over because it's a rivalry game with two really good offenses. I'm clearly going to take the over because um, it doesn't take a whole lot to cause the gust to gasm. Uh, final score prediction. I'll get to that at the end. Um, Bill Musgrave, if you ask a hypothetical question, I will answer it, but I will give you the finger while I'm doing it. Uh, let's see. Rocky7935 says apparently DAT is out. Um, there's very unreliable or reliable things. He's on the field running around wearing headphones and pads. I don't know where people are getting the out from or the not out, but he is warming up on the field, uh, getting ready for this game. Like I said, though, I think he's still limited by that ankle, and I don't know how much we're going to see of him in this game, and I don't think we're I definitely don't think we're going to see a full 100% uh, D. Anthony Thomas in this one. So it's going to be up to guys like Byron Marshall and Thomas Tyner to step up, and especially in the past game, Marcus Mario to trying to throw to Huff, to Addison, to Johnny Munt, to Farrow Brown, to Keenan Lowe, uh, getting all those receivers involved and all those pass catchers involved. Uh, this game's kind of on Marcus Mariota, especially if DAT is out. Let's see, anything else? Over, under 30 points. I, I kind of like the under just barely. Um, I'll give my final score right now. I'm going to say 45 to 28 Oregon. Um, I think that seems about right to me. I think Washington has enough weapons to put up some points, uh, but I think Oregon has more weapons, and I think Oregon's got the slightly better defense in this one as well. Um, so I like around there, 45 maybe, you know, an extra touchdown late gets it to 52, continues that 50-plus streak. I'd really like to see that happen. Um, but something in the 40s to something in the high 20s, maybe low 30s is what I'm looking for today in this one. Um, that about wraps it up for the ATQ pregame show. Uh, thanks for tuning in and joining us. Uh, we are now 51 minutes away from kickoff at Husky Stadium. Go Ducks! Happy I Hate Washington Day. Join us in the Addicted to Get Quack game thread. It's the place to be if you're an internet loser and want to actually communicate with people on some level. Uh, it's not like face-to-face, -face, you know, talky-talky communication, but it's internet communication, which is something for people with moderate to mild social deficiencies like myself. For addicted to quack.com, this is Takimoto. Thanks for tuning in. Go Ducks, beat the Huskies. We'll catch you next time.